Hey there, I just want to do a quick video breakdown of how you calculate area for ridge vents and soffit vents. I didn't see anything on YouTube or any other videos on the internet about this, so I thought it might be useful to others. Um, so there are actually some guidelines in the, in the industry. There's a one to 300 and then the more recommended one to 500 guideline. And that basically means that you want one square foot of ventilation per 150 square feet of attic space or attic area. So in this example here, um, I've got a 20 foot by 10 foot uh, attic space. So you would multiply that length and width, get your area of the attic, and then you divide that by the 150. So <clears throat> in this case, you do the uh, 20 feet by 10 feet for 200 square feet. And then I multiplied that by 144 to get the square inches. You could also just do the 240 inches by 120 inches to get that 28,800 square inches of attic space. And then you just divide that by this 150 here and you get 192 square inch square inches of soffit or ridge vent area that's, that's necessary for ventilating. So the ridge vent area would be up here and the soffit vent area would be right here. And obviously it would be 192 on the top here and then it'd be 192 in half on each side here because each side would be providing air up to that single ridge vent. And now um, that would be the ideal amount from this calculation. Um, but in most actual roofing situations, you're not going to actually be able to use a calculation and get that uh, ridge vent surface, uh, square inches area. And the reason for that is one, a lot of these roofing companies um, and builders aren't actually using any kind of calculation. You know, so a roofer is going to come along, they might add a ridge vent, um, but they're not really going to be doing any kind of calculation, looking at your soffits and things like that. What they are going to do though, is they're going to cut a, uh, a hole in the ridge and then they're going to put on top of that, um, what's kind of standard in, in the industry, which is this plastic ridge vent itself. And so I'll show a picture here of that ridge vent. And as you can see in the ridge vent, it just has kind of a standard size here. It's about one inch and that shows on each side. So if we want to do an actual ridge vent calculation, not this theoretical one, we would say, well, we have a fixed length on the top of our roof and that's 20 feet here or 240 inches. And it has about two inches on each side of it. So we have about 480 square inches of ridge vented space. So that's what we have here. And so we would want that equivalent amount on our soffits. So we can do two different calculations here. We can calculate how many vents would we want on each side if we had a known size of the vent, or we can calculate if we have a, a known number of vents, what size should they be? So let's say we have this 480 square inches of ridge area, and we know that we have vents that are 50 net free area per vent. So what is net free area? Well, let's take a look here. So I have a box of actual vents here. And these are 16 by eight inches, but we don't actually do the surface or the uh, ventilation area by multiplying 16 by eight, because as you can see, there are large portions of this actual vent that aren't ventilated. And so what the manufacturer does is, is they calculate for you how much net free area you have. So this is the actual ventilation space. This is 50 square inches for this actual vent. So assuming we have these 50 net free area vents, we divide, we divide 1480 by that 50 and we get 9.6 or about 10 vents. So we would need about 10 vents on the soffits to ventilate that ridge. And so that'd be five on each side. So let's say you already have a house. You're not, you're not adding net new vents and you know that you already have 10 vents. So what would we do to dis discover what size they should be? Well, we'd take that 480, we'd divide it by 10 vents spaces that we have and it would tell us we need each vent to be 48 square inches of net free area and that would be right around equivalent to the ones that I just showed you the 50 square inches so we could use those. So that breaks this down into what is the guideline, what is the theoretical amount of ventilation space that would be both on the ridge and on the soffits and then what is a more actual practical application of that area? And then how do we calculate either the number of vents or the size of vents that we would need? So I use this in, in, a, in a recent application on some updates I did to my house, 
hopefully this is valuable to someone else on the internet that uh, is curious about this topic, and please see, leave some comments in the comments section. Thanks.